In today's tutorial, I'll be using Inkscape to show you how to take text and form it into a shape of an object, similar to what you see here on my screen. And for this tutorial, the example I'll be using is taking the word fish and forming it into the shape of a fish. And if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, then you'll need to download the font that I used here called Chunk5, and I'll include a link to that in the description. So once you've installed that, go ahead and, go ahead and open up Inkscape and we're good to go. So. Let's close out of that and let's get to work. So the first thing we'll do, let's go to view. Let's go to view, make sure you have custom selected. Zoom, we're gonna zoom in at one to one. I'm gonna click this button, open up the align and distribute menu. Make sure you have last selected chosen. And we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. Click that button. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create a circle. So cl click on the create circles and ellipses um, tool. Click and drag on the canvas to create a circle. And let's click on the arrow, and in, in this column right here where it says W for the width, we're gonna make that 400, hit 400, hit enter. And then for the height, we're gonna make that 400 as well. 400, hit enter. And let's take the opacity and bring this down in half so we can see what we're doing. And let's actually turn this red. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we're gonna create a, a rectangle. So click on the rectangle tool just create a rectangle, any shape or size like that. We'll go back to our arrow. The width, we're going to make the width of that 400. Hit enter. And then we're going to make the height 100. Hit enter. And then hold shift in the keyboard and click on our circle so we have them both selected. Let's center it up on the vertical axis and align the top edges. And then we'll go to path intersection. Now let's right click this and go to duplicate. And let's flip this vertically by clicking this button right here. And let's click and drag over both of them so we have them both selected. And let's click this button right here that says align bottom edges of objects to the top edge of the anchor. Just like that. Go to path union. Now let's bring this thing over here. And let's right click this and go to duplicate. And then hold control and click and drag this off to the right. Right about there. And then we'll go back to our rectangles tool. We're going to create a rectangle going over this thing. Maybe to about there. And go back to the arrow, hold shift, click on this second shape right here so we have them both selected. We'll go to path difference. And we could hold shift and click on this first shape. Go to path union. So there we have our fish. Now we're going to take some text and flow it into the shape of this fish here. So let's go to our text tool and click on that. Let's click on the canvas and I'm gonna use all caps here. It's important that you use all caps so that it's consistent all around. I'm just gonna type in fish and let's click on the text uh, editor, open that up. Let's go find that font, chunk five. There it is, hit apply, close out of that. Then we can go back to our arrow and let's go to path Path Effect Editor. And actually, no, we gotta turn this into an object first. So let's click on this and let's go to Path, Object to Path. And that's gonna change that from a live text item to an actual uh, Inkscape path item. So once you've done that, this dropdown should appear in the Path Effect Editor. We're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna click this dropdown. We're gonna go down to Envelope Deformation. That's the tool we're gonna be using to, to make that to make the letters flow into the shape of the fish. So click on that and click add and then hold shift and click on our fish right here. Now let's go down to our line and distribute. Let's let's align the right sides and then let's align it on the horizontal axis just like that. And then click off of it to deselect. Let's click on just the word fish, hold control and click and drag this out to here until the corners of the letter F touch the edge of the front of the fish. Right about there. And we could actually take the opacity on this and bring this down a little bit, because we're gonna to wanna to be able to see the object beneath it. So the first thing we'll do over here in our path effect editor, uh, we're gonna turn off where it says enable left and right paths. Let's turn that off. And then we're gonna have all these, these four options right here, top, right, bottom, left, and the first one we're gonna click is top. So let's click on this button that says top, top bends path. And we're gonna get this green line going across the letters. So let's take this green line and try to flow it into the shape of this fish. I'll do that right now. And as you can see, at, when I do this, 
the word fish will take the shape of however I move that line. I'm going to take this node right here and hold control. I'm going to move this straight up so it goes up to the top of the tail right there. I'm going to take this handle and drag this down, kind of like here, kind of like right down there, kind of like that. Um, you're not going to be able to get it like sharp corner like that right there. It's going to be, it's going to have to be some kind of a uh, curved flow, but that's all right because it'll still look like a fish. So I'm just going to play around with this a little bit until it fits the shape. All right, I'd say that's pretty good. And we're going to go down to the bottom bend path. We do the same thing. Bend this a little bit. Take this node, hold control, and click and drag this node down to the bottom of the tail. Let's take this handle and bring this in. Kind of like that. And we could take this handle and bring this curve out. Just like that. And that should be that should be pretty good. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the top a little bit. I'm gonna get this. I don't like how this looks right here. I'm gonna get this a little closer. Kind of like that. And you can use this technique to 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 take the uh, any kind of object and flow it into the shape of any object. So once you're once you're done, once you've got it to a place where you like, Inkscape's not gonna recognize this as an object yet. If you look here, when I highlight over each letter it's showing the, the letter as it previously was so we're gonna finalize this by going to path object to path and then that doesn't happen anymore it's now highlighting the actual shapes I'm gonna close out of the path effect editor we don't need that anymore now let's go back to the arrow click on that and let's go let's actually go to our create ellipses and circles tool let's create an ellipse going over the the nose of the fish right there Maybe like that. Go back to our arrow, hold shift and click on the red fish shape. Let's center that up on the horizontal axis and go to path intersection. Let's go to our create uh, circles and ellipses tool. Let's hold control and shift to create a perfectly round circle. That's going to be the fish's eye. And go back to our arrow. We could put the eye right there. Select both of those and go to path difference. And then we can click and drag over this whole thing. We can bring the opacity all the way up. And we can give it one solid color. Maybe um, an aqua shade of blue. Kind of like that. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial. Just to give you an introduction to the, uh, the path envelope effect with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.